So let's jump on over to today's matchups. Like you said, Tampa Bay versus Saints. We got two Hall, future Hall of Famers. Uh, Saints are, you know, they got Thomas back. They are going to be playing without Hill, though. Right. Okay. Tampa Bay has all his weaponry. What will we see today? What the, what the heck happened to Hill? He fell off the bench or something? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm just asking. He, he ain't been playing, so how you get hurt? Oh, what? Knee no, injury, bro. Knee oh, injury. Yeah, but Hill is a Swiss Army knife. I'm about to say, he, he, the whole trajectory. Of he's been cheated while they've been beating him all year. He's yes. Dr. Heslip, can I say my piece and I'll shut up? Oh, no, Lord. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. All right. All right. So I've Look been tormented him. this entire season. Week one, we got beat in New Orleans. I expected this, a brand new, fresh team, whatever. Week nine, we got embarrassed in Raymond James Stadium. Um, Bro, Drew Brees is getting shot like Ricky and Boys in the Hood today <laughs> in the back. He is going to get some cherry hot slug that's going to barbecue those ribs, that's going to knock him out this game. I'm trying to tell you. The Chicago Bears have shown that you can pressure the wide receivers and make them look real normal. Because Michael Thomas caught his first touchdown last week, but he didn't have 100 yards. He didn't go off. Bro, the Philadelphia Eagles have shown how you can attack this New Orleans Saints team. Gap control, screen passes. Can you hear that, Byron Leftwich? Did you hear that, Byron Leftwich? Screen passes and deep shots. If Javon Wims knew how to catch a damn football, Chicago could have made that a game. And guess what? That Chauncey Gardner-Johnson clown is not going to get in the head of Antonio Brown. You can't get into the head of a sociopath. And I expect <laughs> Mr. Yeah, Arians yeah. to stick yeah, Antonio can. Brown on Charlie Gardner Johnson. Oh, please believe this. This is a handwritten ass whipping that is long <laughs> overdue because the Tampa Bay Bucks are not going to hear the end of it if they lose three times to the same damn team. This is yeah. playoff Tom Brady, not regular season Tom Brady. He has no excuses. He's got the offensive line. He's got the weapons. Look for a shootout. What you got? What you got? Please, Eric, let me know some. <laughs> I, I'm going to let somebody else go. I'm still trying this. I'm, I'm marinating on everything that Alex said because, <laughs> uh, Chuck, please go. Because I, I need a minute, man. I ain't even going to lie to you. I need I'm, a minute on this one. I'm just uh... – there's something I'm, in there. I'm, I'm, more I'm, juicy I'm, drinking, man. <laughs> Damn sure is. <laughs> this kind of how this kind of how I felt going into the Baltimore Raven game. It's like a toss up. Um, I think the Saints defense has kind of has a a system where they figured Tampa Bay out, um, and whether Tampa Bay adapts to that, we'll see. Um, and for that reason alone, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the Saints in a close game. Um, and they're going to be getting a heavy dose of Kamara. You have no Murray. You have no heel. So they're going to get a heavy dose of Kamara today. So you, you better watch out. Um, also, a key piece, having Deontay Harris back is big. Um, it's very big. Uh, he looked great his first game la last last week. Um, so having him back, that's another weapon that you have to account for that's very, very dangerous. Um, like, again, Drew Brees is older now, but if he can just manage the ball, don't turn the ball over. I actually think they'll be in good shape. Um, it's a, it's a toss-up. I won't be surprised if Tampa Bay win. won't be surprised if Tampa Bay wins, actually convincingly. But I just feel like it's going to be a close game. Um, and I feel like uh, the Saints will pull out. I think their defense is good enough. I think they'll they'll put some pressure on Brady. And we all know if you make him move around a little bit, make him uncomfortable, it's a long, long game. Um, so I'm going to rock with the Saints. I just feel like they have their number. Um, they, I think their defense is – Cap more than capable of, you know, stopping all those weapons and not letting him be comfortable in the backfield. I think Kamara is going to have a an amazing game because he has no choice. There's nobody else to give the ball to. Um, so <laughs> I think they're going to really. I think I think the Saints are going to win uh, by four. Okay. All right, so we got one, I mean, one, for, one for Tampa Bay, one for the Saints. Well, you, yeah, you I, mean, that, I mean, my guy here a little too excited about. Seeing uh, two quarterbacks that's got a combined age of like a, a hundred and five <laughs> uh, play each other, but uh, I mean, for me, man, I don't know, man. I the Saints, man, they, they've they've been so dis disappointing the last two years as far as not making making to the uh, championship. The one year they did get cheated though with the pass interference, I will say that. Uh, last year they just got beat by you know a better team, San Francisco 49ers. What can I say? But uh, I mean. With this man, I, the one thing I'm curious about Tampa Bay is I don't know why they don't they don't 
attempt to run the football a little more. To me, it, sometimes it would make a little more sense to, you know, establish Ronald Jones uh, or, or Fournette to, to run the football, open up the play action. I think that's what Tom Brady really excels in. That's what he's done done his whole career. I mean, uh, <laughs> you know, they kind of just – they just want to air it out. You know what I mean? Uh, but I think if they come with that one-dimensional, I think they'll lose. I think – but if they can run the football, I'm, I'm picking – uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna go with Alex. Unfortunately, unfortunately. hold on, man. Hold, hold, hold on. You said hold on, man, because this this is what he does. Now, don't, say, <laughs> don't, say, don't say if they do something, I'm going. So who are you picking? Ain't no if, no hey, hypothetical. And first of all, is this the pop up shop or is this that, Chuck's shop? I'm you be, you <laughs> be quiet while I'm talking. All right, because I know what we're gonna deal with on Tuesday. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I mean, who you got, man? I've been, I've been I've been rocking with Tampa Bay for a lot this season. I like I'm I'm a big AB fan, man. Even though he's crazy, I'm a big AB fan. So he's I mean, so, I see, so Ty, did you see in today's matchup? So Ty, did you see Bruce Arians' playbook? Is that is that is that what you? Because what you said, sir, is exactly where I was going. It was the fact that so far this year, that run game hasn't truly been established by Tampa Bay. You yeah. guys got Leonard Fournette. You've got Ronald Jones. You got Keyshawn Vaughn. You got LaShawn McCoy. You know, it's like, wh- wh- where is this? You have a plethora of running backs to simply just take the ball and run it straight down anybody's throat, and you haven't done that. You've had the air attack. You've got Cameron Bray, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Scotty Miller, Antonio Brown. Alex, I love your piece, Too Many Mouths to Feed, part one and part two, because it truly did break down – what Tampa has in their arsenal. I think that's exactly what we're going to see today against the New Orleans Saints because where the Saints only have one running back who they can truly utilize in Alvin Kamara, the Bucks have a plethora of fresh legs who are ready to go. Now, make no mistake about it. As Alex said, week one, game of the week, Breeze, Brady, listen, new team coming together versus the Saints who have Sean Payton and Drew Brees. The rematch did not go as Tampa wanted to happen. You cannot, if you're Tampa Bay, you cannot let the Saints beat you three times in a row. The legacy of Brady is on the line today, but he has everybody that he needs to get it done. The best thing about it is I believe it's been since week 12 or 13 or maybe even 14 you started to see everybody gelling together. It took Antonio Brown a couple of weeks to come into the slot and play his role. It took a couple weeks for Brady to feel more comfortable throwing that deep ball to guys like a Godwin and an Evans. You saw the warrior in Mike Evans. But here is my reason why I'm taking the Saints, and it's very simply this, that Saints defense. They may not have the ability to contain all the weapons that I just mentioned, but they got them Jenkins boys who are truly playing on a whole nother level. Malcolm Jenkins understands what's going down. He done been here before, okay? Cameron Jordan, people still are not even speaking about how we've not talked about Cameron Jordan this whole entire season and what he has been able to do on that front line. I'm just simply saying to you, Breeze may be without his Swiss Army knife, which means he is going to be slated to play a lot more than coming out for a play or two and allowing Taysom Hill to come in and kind of give him a breather. But defensively, If Tom Brady, who we know can pick up our defenses, if he can do that today against the Saints defense, the Saints will not win. But I am still, as long as Malcolm Jenkins and Janoris Jenkins are on the field, I have to go with the Saints today. Eric, let me ask you a question real quick. So you said his his legacy is on the line. Six rings. New Orleans, I'm not New Orleans. New England not doing good. You don't think think his, his, his legacy is cemented? Tom Brady... In that regard, I will say yes. But when you get beat three times by one team, that is going to, you know, a lot of people are going to throw a lot of hate and a lot of shade on him saying you can't get it done against that type of. Brady has been able to pick apart defenses. We've seen him do that time and time and time again. And granted, first year in the Bruce Arians, Byron Leftwich system, he has had to get himself acclimated. Yeah. So them three had to come together and figure out how we're going to make this work. But people but people going to pick – I mean, he's like LeBron in the sense of regardless, right. of regardless of what he does, people are going to pick him apart and say negative things regardless. Yes. If yes. He, if he, if, let's just say for some sake of the imagination, he goes to the, cha- the 
Super Bowl and they're the first team to ever play in their home stadium in the Super Bowl. People are gonna say it's rigged. Uh, people are gonna <laughs> say people are gonna say, oh, he, you know, he had to go to Tampa Bay to win his seventh ring. Or, you know what I mean? Like it, it, it's regardless of how it goes, man. It, it, it's gonna be some type of uh, some type of criticism. You know what I mean? Well, it, 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 but it's that, always gonna be it. But here's my last point that I'm gonna say to you: expect it, and he expects that to happen. Which is why I say to you. The writing is on the wall right now for him. Go into New Orleans, do what you we know you are capable of doing. Because Alex said it best. There's three different times, three different types of Tom Brady. There's regular season Tom Brady, there's playoff Tom Brady, and there's Super Bowl Tom Brady. We have playoff Tom Brady right now. So that way we know him. But I'm telling you today, watch so, the run game of the Bucks. If that run game is successful, the Bucks will win. I will be wrong. But as of right now, feet to the fire, gun to my head, powerball ticket. I'm taking the Saints. And I like I like That's unfortunate, it. Mr. Wilson. Alvin Kamara has 22 <laughs> scrimmage touchdowns, 1,031 yards rushing, 773 yards receiving. That means 1,800 yards of total Saints offense has come through Alvin Kamara. Michael Thomas has been a bust, but you have to account for him because he's an elite wide receiver. Tom Brady doesn't need the money. He didn't have to go to Tampa Bay, and he didn't have to take a pay cut. Tom Brady doesn't need the money. He is a competitor. And he wants that damn ring for vindication against Bill Belichick and a franchise that underpaid him for 20 plus years. There's been a thorn in the side of the Tampa Bay Bucks for the last four years. Tampa Bay hasn't beat this team since Ryan Fitzpatrick was the quarterback week one about three plus years ago when Jameis Winston was on suspension. This is past personal. Tampa can't stand New Orleans. New Orleans can't stand Tampa. And after the way they were disrespectful at Raymond James, oh, please believe funeral directors in New Orleans are going to make a lot of money on Monday because there's going to be a lot of shocked fans who are going to suffer a heart attack. I'll I tell you I tell you what, would be some vindication if, if Drew Brees comes out there the fir first couple of drives, gets hurt, and Jameis Winston leads them to a, uh, leads them to a win. That would be a great storyline. That's, that's the scenario. I wouldn't oh, mind okay. that at all. I would love <laughs> to see Jameis Winston beat the Tampa Bay Bucks. There I have nothing to say. <laughs> but you know what? We had an election not too long ago. And I think people who voted on the wrong side of history need to have their ribs hurt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think I think y'all said some awesome pieces, but bold prediction. Bold prediction. I'm just gonna throw it out there. You're gonna see a reemergence of A B today. Tom Brady and A B. That's not a bold move. That's not a bold prediction. That's not a bold prediction at all, Jarrell. Because you know what? Over the last couple of weeks. What have, they, what have they done? They've connected so much. Mm -hmm. They've established that timing, that rhythm, that, as Alex would say, that synchronicity, if you will. So mm -hmm. I love that word, by the way. I'm, just, I'm telling you, I stole it. Yeah, Alex is gone. That ain't, you did that ain't steal it. You always use it. I do. I do. It's a great word. But I think I, I, that's not a bold prediction. A bold prediction for me would be seeing old Gronk today catch like four touchdowns, four mm. touchdown passes. That to me would be a bold prediction. No, nah, he better not start doing that crap. Now nah, he's on my fantasy team all year. I, nah. Dr. Heslip. Yes, sir. Um, when Tampa Bay was on by, I wrote a piece about how they're trying to get things together and they're going to go on a four game winning streak. Their, a rot, their opponent after the bye was the Minnesota Vikings. In that piece, I wrote how they needed to get AB acclimated and use him as a weapon from Minnesota, Atlanta twice. And Detroit, yeah, exactly there what wasn't known. anyone in that secondary that was a threat to Antonio Brown's skill set. He scored a touchdown against Minnesota. He scored a touchdown in both games against ATL. He looked great the second time against ATL. And he scored a touchdown against Detroit. Four catches, 35 yards, a touchdown. Not that I'm keeping track. Uh, playoff game, wild card, Washington. Who was wide the hell open with the blown coverage in the second quarter? Maybe. That's right, Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown has been a Saints killer his entire career with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, determining factor, though, determining factor, and this is where Eric comes in. And even though I, I, I know it's going to be a, a it's going to be a shootout tonight, my mom will not let me pick Tampa Bay. I'm going with the Saints, <laughs> and it's all because of that defense. And for some reason, the Saints always work it out. Cam Jordan is a freaking problem i don't know if y'all realize that we see him in carolina too much he is a problem them jinking boys like you said they've been holding it down and then you don't have to have a heavy dose of kamar just to have thomas back 
he makes it happen on these short passes. You get in the red zone, he makes it happen. They can punch it in with Kamar. I'm going with the Saints. Is Emmanuel Sanders playing? Because we yeah. ain't talked about him. That's another guy that Breeze, he he has him. He just has the opportunity to get stuff done. But, again, if, if, if A.B. gets rolling, it's a wrap. If Gronk gets rolling, it's a wrap. Because people, the, the defense is going to slight themselves on <clears throat> Evans and Godwin. We already know that. That's, that's, a, that's, that's just a fact of nature. Dynamic I'll duo. I'll yeah. tell you what, I wish I could see that game now instead of having to watch this Cleveland and, and uh, Kansas City. Uh... <laughs> Chuck, right. Dr. Hessler, Ty Ray, Code 1215.